If you're a diehard Porsche enthusiast, a 911 GT3 RS has always sat at the very top of their performance pillar. However, today I'm at the LA Auto Show because the company has just introduced a vehicle that might make you rethink that. Right beside me is the brand new 2022 Cayman GT4 RS, the ultimate Cayman ever, and it also happens to have the engine plucked out of a 911 GT3. So let's take a first look. So I am in LA because this is where Porsche sells the most brand new cars here in America. One in four people buy a brand new Porsche here in LA, so it makes sense for the company to be showing off their newest and greatest products. Now, of course, before we talk about this massive table on the new Cayman GT4 RS, I wanna lift up the rear hatch area because I wanna talk about what makes this engine very, very special. Of course, sadly, we can't see the engine. That's always been the case with a mid-engine Cayman or a Boxster, but underneath all of that carbon fiber here, you're gonna find a mid-engine that's mounted in the perfect location. So unlike a 911, it's a rear engine car. This is a mid-engine car. And this, like I said earlier, is the same four liter flat six. It's a naturally aspirated flat six that makes 493 horsepower. That's nearly 80 more horsepower than what you get in the standard GT4. It also makes slightly more torque, 331 pound feet. Of course, all Cayman GT4 RSs are continuing to be rear wheel drive and you only get one transmission option. Porsche is not offering their excellent manual transmission. It only comes with a seven speed uh, Porsche double coupling. So it's their PDK, which the company says performance figures are mighty impressive. You should expect to get to 60 in around 3.2 seconds. And this car will reach a top speed of 196 miles an hour. That's a improvement of about half a second from the GT4 and its top speed increases nearly 10 miles an hour more. So this is really encroaching on 911 GT3 territory. So there's always been kind of that hierarchy. Porsche's always wanted to try to protect the 911 from the Cayman, but it's really great to see that the company is giving the Cayman the engine and the chassis upgrade that it's always really deserved. Now let me close the hatch area and come back to this rear wing at the back. Now this wing, we actually first saw this wing on the brand new 992 911 GT3. Porsche says it adds significant downforce. In fact, the entire vehicle body adds about 25% better downforce versus the standard GT4. That's of course gonna help you out on the track. And this wing here with the carbon fiber with this dark grayish or with this grayish bluish color definitely makes this vehicle stand out. The Cayman has always been a really attractive car for me and the latest 718. It's been around since 2017, but Porsche of course does their magic to make the car look even more uh, aggressive. Now, of course, you have the uh, usual upgrades here with a GT3 model. You can see the taillights are the dark tinted. You have its own unique rear uh, rear bumper system and the rear skirt. And then you can see the exhaust system also is unique. Porsche says they've tuned the four liter to have a unique sound. I'll have to wait to show you guys what that sounds like when I finally get the car uh, to test or to drive. Uh, and it's something that I've been looking forward to driving for quite some time. Now, of course, if you wanna follow me over to the side profile of this vehicle, um, you can see a lot of additional um, aero was added to this vehicle. They're all trying to make the vehicle have better downforce out on the track and of course give you the necessary cooling because of this is a mid-engine car. The wheels are probably an interesting point of controversy. Like I actually really like the style of the wheels. These are kind of like the RS wheels, but they have this interesting blue finish to them. And I'm not entirely sure that it might work on some other colors. Uh, Porsche will let you basically paint this vehicle in any color you want, but you can see the upgraded brakes that it comes with. Uh, if you want the Porsche tungsten brakes or the carbon ceramic brakes, that of course is an option. These are the standard steel uh, rotors, which are slotted and you get six piston calipers in the front, four piston at the back. There's more carbon fiber you can see right here on the uh, intakes for the engine. This is of course gonna help with cooling, help with aerodynamics. I'm surprised this one here doesn't have a carbon fiber roof, which would obviously lower the center of gravity, but you do get plenty of other carbon fiber everywhere else. You have that on the mirror caps here, you have carbon fiber on the hood, uh, and you have these functional heat extraction vents here on the front fascia, along with more uh, of those flaps there, the gurney flaps in the front to aid with aerodynamics. Porsche says they actually lowered this car about 30 millimeters compared to a standard GT4. So again, you're gonna have the improved performance that you need for an RS model. Now coming over to the front of the vehicle, you can see there's a lot of more functional cooling here. Uh, this is something that I first saw on the 911 GT2 RS or GT3 RS and the GT3. This again is all going to help with cooling. Uh, you hit the standard Porsche LED headlights. You have a front lip spoiler at the front that also shows off GT4 RS. And overall, it certainly is an aggressive looking car. I imagine a lot of owners who have a 911 GT3 may end up trading for this because technically this should be the better handling car because it is a mid-engine design. Now, of course, the design of this vehicle wouldn't be complete without Porsche making some upgrades to the interior. Now, once I finally wedge myself into these racing seats, 
and shut the door. It has that typical solid German Porsche thunk to the door slam. And you can see this particular one here has an upgraded package called the Weizach package. I'm probably mispronouncing it, but my German's not really good. It's the Weizach RS package, which includes the additional carbon fiber. You can see all of the race techs and the suede Alcantara all over the dash. Uh, and these seats. These seats, how could we not talk about them? They are the Porsche racing seats that you can get as part of like a $6,000 option. These seats are fantastic when you're finally sitting in the vehicle because they hold you in place so well. They're also extremely, extremely stiff. Um, getting in, you can see these bolsters don't really flex because it's basically covered in this carbon fiber reinforced harness. But once you actually are in the seat, I'm not a very wide person, but I imagine if you are, you're probably not gonna really like these seats. They're also manual seats. You can't get this car with power seats because these are the racing seats. So if you guys plan to do racing, which I imagine a lot of you who get a GT4 RS are going to do that, you're going to really uh, prefer this. Now the rest of the interior, you can see there are the usual upgrades. You have the uh, upgraded a suede on the steering wheel with this uh, yellow accent line here to show when the vehicle when the steering wheel is pointed straight ahead you have of course the standard pdk transmission which it almost looks like a manual shifter it's kind of deceiving because from a glance you can just almost think this is a manual but you can see this is the automatic which is fine with me because porsche's pdk is amazing and then in terms of the rest of the interior Caymans and Boxsters are a little bit behind Porsche's other newer vehicles. So you have a seven inch infotainment screen here. Uh, you can also change the color if you'd like. You can add in, you can get rid of the race text and give us real leather. You can also change the carbon fiber of the wood. So obviously the interior of the GT4S isn't necessarily the point, but like so many other Caymans, there is a fair amount of space in here. And you also have the space in the back and underneath the hood because of that front trunk. So as good as the current Cayman GT4 is, a lot of enthusiasts, including myself, have been seriously waiting for Porsche to give us the ultimate version. And of course, with the 2022 Cayman GT4 RS, they've essentially done that because they plucked the heart out of the 911 GT3, gave us that engine that revs to 9,000 RPM. They gave us a body kit and a overall look and the chassis upgrades, suspension upgrades to really make this car a race car for the road. And I really think that a lot of enthusiasts are gonna seriously consider trading in their 911 GT3 RS for the Cayman GT4 RS. Now, speaking of which, this vehicle uh, should be going on sale by summer, next summer, so summer 2022. And Porsche says its base price is gonna be right around $141,000. 141 grand is certainly a lot of money. It's about $40,000 more expensive versus a 911 GT3. However, if you guys look at the exclusivity of this vehicle and also compare it to a 911 GT3, this is roughly about $50,000 less expensive. So technically, if you look at it that way, it should be a bargain. And regardless, I'm really excited to get behind the wheel of this vehicle sometime next year. Its performance figures are obviously very impressive and I think Porsche is gonna have a really hot seller on their hands. So if you guys have the money, make sure you pick one of these up while it's still available. With all that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed my first look overview on the 2022 Cayman GT4 RS. If you're also looking to see the latest cars I'm testing, be sure to follow me on Instagram at redline underscore reviews, like us on Facebook, and as always, guys, please keep subscribing to the Redline Reviews YouTube channel for all the latest reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.